that was born obviously before the father died that child too was born as the father was deaf and dumb this boy was deaf and dumb from birth and now he came to the crusade and the boy now of age and as we prayed as we are going to pray tonight and God answered that prayer this prayer for you the Lord will answer and so, as we prayed and said the final amen, it just occurred to the sister that brought him to call his name. And he called his name. And then he turned. He was surprised. They blocked their ears and somebody stood behind and called the name. And then he answered. Then they now faced him and pronounced one. What did he say? Two. What did he say? Three. What did he say? The Lord had healed the deaf and dumb. When they got back home, they now continued. They said, Jerry. He said, Jerry. Maya. He said, Maya. My name. He said, my name is. He said, is. I'm telling you, God is at work. I said God is at work in your life. In your life. In your family. The healing covenant will produce results in your life in Jesus' name. Number two. Number two here, the holy covenant. The privileged believers in the holy covenant. I'm looking at Luke chapter, chapter 1, verse 72. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. He will remember it for you. I said, remember it on your behalf. And then it says, verse 73, to perform, it says, the oath which is swear to our father Abraham. 74, that, 74 now, 74, that he will grant unto us, unto me. Unto me, he will grant unto you that you being delivered out of the hands of your enemies might serve him without fear. Fear of cockroach, fear of serpent, fear of uh, evil, fear of darkness, fear of occultism, fear of evil people, it will totally deliver you. Fear of enemies, it will deliver you. That he might deliver us from the hand of our enemies and might serve him without fear you will get to where you are going to what god has ordained for your life you'll get there in jesus name because the fear that somebody will stop you somebody will hinder you somebody will double cross your way all that fear is taken away look at verse 75 in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life and somebody said amen look at number three there number three the presage birthright in the heavenly covenant the presage birthright in the heavenly covenant second chronicles chapter 6 we're reading from verse 14. Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 14. And said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in heaven, nor in the earth, which keepest covenant and showeth mercy unto thy servants that walk before thee with all their hearts. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 5 and said I beseech thee O Lord God 
of heaven, God of heaven, the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant, is the God of heaven, he keepeth covenant, that's where heavenly covenant came from, and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Now, everyone that has passed through that portal that Christ has made by the redeeming blood on the cross of Calvary has a birthright because we're members of his family, family right. We're members that have taken part of his redemption, redemptive right. We're people that he has died for and is our sacrifice, our substitute is the birthright that came <clears throat> through the sacrifice, God bless you, through the sacrifice of Calvary. Now, Esau had a birthright. You have a birthright. Esau sold his own birthright. I will not sell my birthright. <laughs> you will not sell your birthright. One day he was tired coming from the farm. And then he said, Jacob, my brother, can you give me that pottage? Part of that pottage? I'm hungry. And Jacob said, one condition. You can't go to the kitchen and cook for yourself. You can't wait 30 minutes and prepare the food. You want my lentils? Give me your birthright. And he said, all right, all right. What will birthright do me? Take the birthright. And then, uh, instead of saying God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Esau, no. He has sold the birthright. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of God of Jacob. God becomes your God fully when you keep that birthright. When you say, I will not sell my birthright. The God of power, your God. The God of healing, your God. The God of wonders, your God. The God of satisfaction, your God. The God of all supply, your God. When you keep that birthright and you don't sell that birthright because of a pledge of rice or because of the requirement or need of the flesh you will not sell your birthright this god will be your god this christ will be your savior from now and forever in jesus name the passover is going to pass over you now calamity will pass over you judgment will pass over you when I see the blood, I will pass over you. The promise is unto you and to children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The Lord is calling you now. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. He wants to forgive all your sins, all your iniquities, all your transgressions. He wants to pass over you. He wants judgment to be something forever gone from your life. So that from tonight, as you stand up, as you walk, anywhere you go, no judgment again. No punishment again. No evil again. But you must clear your life of that leaven we read about. You must clear your life of all that evil sin, everything that is called sin, transgression, evil, iniquity. Say, Lord, I did it in the past. I am sorry. I turn away from them. Forgiveness will come immediately. If you want that forgiveness right now, that salvation right now, and you want judgment to pass, you want punishment to pass, you want all the consequence of the sins you have committed to pass away from your life, wherever you are now, raise up your hand. 
God bless you there. God bless you there. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. God bless you. Raise up that hand. And then you are ready that all the level, all the evil, all the sin, all the transgression, you're willing to take away. You're turning away from them with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. Raise up that hand. God bless you. Anywhere you are, here, and in any other location, as you raise up your hand, you can stand up. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Stand up right there. You say, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're coming out of the land of bondage. You're coming out of the land of darkness. And the Lord is going to pass over. That judgment will not come over your life anymore. While you're standing up, just bow your head there and say, Lord, I thank you for this mercy. I thank you for this chance that all my sins can be forgiven. That all my iniquity can be taken away. Lord, I accept. Hey, everybody. I'm John Cena. This is my good friend, Nurse Tori. Hi. Today, she's visiting me at work. And while you may think that's cool, cool is her office. Where she helps save little lives. Nearly half. the presence of God in our midst already now. Anyway, uh, in this great congregation, I want you to lift up your hands, worship God, be in the Spirit, and the Lord will do great things in your life in this program. In Jesus' name! Amen! Are you ready to praise and worship God this evening? Lift up your hands if you're ready to worship and praise God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Oh, my soul, worship your holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, worship your holy name. Bless the Lord. Crazy. 
name. Worship him.
strength, our strength. Listen, listen. If we run to him, he will run to us. When we go to him, he will come to us. When we lift our hands, he will ransom us. Come and praise his name, oh, he stands up God. Oh, sing for joy to God. of you, one thing that we desire, are you there? That as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives, arise, 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 arise.
Put your hand together for Jesus. Tonight is tonight. The Holy Ghost will move like a dynamite. Like a magnet. And I want to tell you, wherever you find yourself, the Lord will touch you tonight. Can I hear the loudest amen? Amen. Just wait a bit and see what God will do here tonight. There's going to be shouting. There's going to be miracles. In Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 14. Sing, O daughters of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all thy hearts, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away thy judgments. He has cast out thy enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. Put your hand together for Jesus. Because tonight, there will be demolition exercised by the Holy Ghost. Everything which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted out. Say amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads and pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your presence. Thank you for what you have started already. I pray, O Lord, this night you will reveal yourself to your servants. You will use your servant to bless your people. Touch everyone that is here. I pray your power will be manifested. Take all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And everybody say, Let's take our hymn as we're standing. Will you be free from the body of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Will you, O oh evil, a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Will you be free from the passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's tide. There's wonderful power in the blood. Would you be whiter, much whiter than snow? There is power in the blood, power in the blood. Sin stains are lost in its life-giving flow. There is wonderful power in the blood. Will you do service for Jesus, your king? There is power in the blood, power in the blood. Will you live daily his praises to sing? There is wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb.
as we pray for the nation. The Bible says in Luke chapter 18 verse 1, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faith. Let's start to pray by praising the Lord, for he is a governor among the nation. Pray that the kingdom of the Lord and the governor of the nation put your hand together for Jesus everywhere. Our Father in the Lord is already around. 